yeah hey I'm going to be walking you through how to start learning PHP and basically well what is it uh, first I'm probably gonna show you how to start before I get on it because we need to download a few things uh, first up is XAMPP uh, this is kind of like a package full of stuff that you're going to be able uh, that you need to start learning PHP it's uh, Apache and a whole uh, well here's a list here Apache MySQL and all that good stuff I'm using Windows so I'm going to download that one and uh, I can't find the download okay Yeah, anyway, there's. Okay, so XAMPP is basically going to turn your computer into a personal web server. You're going to need this to start learning PHP as well as testing uh, a website you would like to create or any web programming uh, programs. A uh, good thing about this is it's a whole lot of other programs built in one where probably before things such as XAMPP existed you'd have to install Apache and get it working with PHP and MySQL and all that stuff. If you don't know what any of this stuff is I'll I'll walk it through as we get to them but at the moment all you need to know is XAMPP good. Yeah. The next thing we're going to need is a text editor. You can use Notepad. Uh, everyone's probably used Notepad in the past. I'm going to use Notepad++ because it has some nice highlighting features which is brilliant to start learning with. But here, um, I'm not actually going to download this one, I already have it. But yeah, it's quite a basic download. I'll get okay, just this download by here, you want to download the installer, so it's easier to install. That's if you're w running Windows. and. Yeah, you just all that stuff. You probably know how to install something. Okay, uh, exams finished. Just walk you through this installation. Uh, right, hang on. Let me close Skype because otherwise it will not work. If uh, if you've got Skype running and you're in a call, you have to close your Skype because Apache for some reason will not install. Just to remind you about that. Was that okay? Just continue. It'll, uh, you can change where you want it to go to. Um, I'm gonna just leave it as that. Yeah, okay. You don't really need to create a desktop item, you can if you want. Uh, here's the important thing you need Apache, MySQL, you do not need FileZilla. Uh, so I'm just going to untick that one. You can install it if you want, but basically what FileZilla is, is um, it's a way of sending your files to update your server, which could be running off XAMPP. But we don't need that because we're doing it on our own computers. So yes, anyway, as this is installing, I am going to walk you through what PHP is, in case you don't know. Uh, okay, first of all, let's go into YouTube. Yeah, I'm sure you all know about this. Ah, probably watching it this video on it right now. Uh, let's click on some video here. I'm not gonna watch it. Just pause. And of course, I get an advert. Anyway, by here you see this. Uh, this thing by here is using something in PHP, which is what we. Which, uh, it's quite complicated. I won't go through how this is done at the moment but you can obviously understand that there are millions of videos if if not billions probably of videos on YouTube and there's no way that some guy has just made every single page himself because it'd be stupid plus they'd have to insert the comments themselves and so on and so on so basically YouTube is run off one page by well a lot of pages but the YouTube that you see 
is run off a page called watch. Well, uh, that's an easier way of thinking of it anyway. So it's all generated via PHP. Uh, another example of this is this site by here. This is uh, my site. It's uh, just something that I'll be teaching you how to do if you just uh, log in. So you have like uh, it's it's a basic social network, but I'll teach I'll be teaching you how to do all that stuff. Anyway, ooh, see this is this is just Xamp just installing for that. Uh, yes, why use it? There's also another uh, language that you could use instead of PHP, which is called ASPX, if I believe. It's uh it's Microsoft's version of ASP or like it's the equivalent of PHP basically uh, you can use this I prefer using PHP because it I find it's a lot more easier to uh, code with uh, if you're familiar with Visual Basic you uh, ASP will be really easy for you to pick up because it is a, a lot like that but in these tutorials I'll be using PHP anyway right uh, let's check this is finished okay Almost finished. Come on. Click allow. Right. Okay, once you've installed XAMP, you will have. Ooh, sorry. You'll have this. Not as big as this. I just dragged it up. Uh, if this doesn't show these two are running, then you'll have to start or stop. If, um, just play around with pressing now. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. Uh, if there's any other problems, leave in the comments below and I will try to help you fix that. But as long as these two are running, we're good to go. And just minimize that. Uh, sorry. If we just close that, it'll stay in the taskbar and it'll be fine. Okay. So. Unless you downloaded Notepad, uh, Notepad plus, uh, can't speak. Notepad plus plus, you be, could be using Notepad. And uh, how we start in PHP, I'll just demonstrate now why Notepad is not the best situation, uh, not the best editor to use. To start in um, programming PHP, you need to start with the PHP tags, which is oh, that and PHP. That's the, the start tag, and the close tag then is that. Quite easy. Uh, it's, if you want to remember it really easy, it's a lot like the um, HTML tags, just with some question marks in the middle, and you put everything in between them. But yeah, it's a notepad, it's just plain, just text. Now, if we go into Notepad. Choose our language. We we'll do PHP, and we have some nice syntax highlight highlighting. So we'll be doing this. So I think in uh, in traditions of tutorials, I think we'll start with the hello world. Uh, so we'll write something to our web browser. How we do this in PHP? would be echo quotation mark and be a bit more imaginative than hello world happy tuesday semicolon you have to remember the semicolon each time a line is done uh, it's just telling um, php that okay this this is a line the anything after this is a new statement uh, don't worry about that until you finish with this line okay so echo by here is our basic print to the screen line uh, command sorry and the quotation marks by here indicate that we are printing text or a string if you want to be fancy and this is just rubbish by here this five uh, file, save this, save it as, it will go put it in my desktop, 
and we'll save it as hello.php. Uh, just a bit scared about saving that like that. So, hello.php. Save that, and we'll find this. You can go away now. And here it is. Now, we can drag this into here. And that's, see, we'll only see this. Now, we don't want to see that because, well, that's exactly what we just wrote. So, in order to do this properly, we want to navigate to where you saved XAMPP. So, mine is by here. And once we're in XAMPP, we're in this, uh, there's a lot of files. You want to go into htdocs, and we'll create, I'll create a new folder in here. You don't have to, you can just put the file in, uh, file in here. But we want to do tutorials, go in that, and just drag that in there. I just, uh, alternatively, you could just save from Notepad++ into this directory, but I was being awkward. Now, in order to access this from our browser, because we still can't just go like that, what you want to type in the URL box is localhost. So give you a nice little exam uh, loaded well splash screen. Click English or if your language of choice, which I assume is English, otherwise you couldn't understand me. Uh, back up in the URL bar by here, we'll go into localhost slash tutorials for me. Where is it? Tutorials slash hello.php. And there we go. We are uh, we said hello. Um, time's running on a bit here. Uh, I think I can quickly show one more thing. Yeah, it's just be, uh, let me just open this file back up. Sorry. What a variable is, is uh, like a container. Uh, say if you had a can of Coke. Ooh, yeah. A can of Coke can, is a container for Coca Cola. Actually, I don't know where I was going with that. A variable holds a meaning, basically. Now, what this meaning is is whatever we tell PHP that it holds. So to do a variable in PHP, you do a dollar sign and then whatever you want to name it. So message will do. Now that's our variable by that. there. So we now have a variable called message. It's not assigned to anything because if we tell our um our little page here to say message. Notice now the how we don't need the quotation marks because it is not a string. We'll just say that, uh, save that, and refresh. And uh, yeah, right. It's gonna say undefined because it means nothing at the moment. So it's not gonna work. But if we go hello. Tuesday, I think it was. I forgot. Save that. Refresh it by here. Hello Tuesday. Now what this is is saying we have a container here called message, and what we want to put into that container is the sentence Hello Tuesday. Now again, we're printing by here. We're telling PHP, look, we have this thing we want you to say. Uh, you want us. We have this thing we want you to show on our browser. Can you please do that? I'm making sure to end it each statement 
with a semicolon otherwise it won't work. Well, I hope that's helped. I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials uh, to come and um, yeah, look forward to teaching you more things and mucking up my words like I have done so many times in this video already. Thank you, I've been Lewis and uh, goodbye.